exist in nature, and it would be difficult to clear the energy that's toxic in the plastic so that it was a good carrier for the energy that this is. If you notice everything here, even these oils come in glass bottles, everything's, you know, a, a semi-precious stone. So that's the theory, anyway, that I was told. What about the old boy? What's that? Isn't that plastic? I don't know. Glass. It's glass. Glass? True. When I had my surgery, the nurse came walking in with the pieces of my hematite pendant. She said, was this valuable? I said, oh my god. <laughs> I made her feel as bad as I could just to get that energy. <laughs> uh, so, uh, let's shift to something that actually transmutes energy. And, and that's these earth parts. If anybody here ever drive past any high tension lines at all, ever? What do you notice about what's happening straight below the lines? Plants are like thriving. Plants thriving. And of course there's an interchange between plants and humans. Of course we're giving off the CO2 that they need. They're giving off the oxygen in return. And it's interesting how they can adapt to a high tension line. But what happens to us at a high tension line? We get sick. Yeah, we get sick. We, go, we come out of balance. We lose our homeostasis. We move the opposite way that we want to go. So these, these hearts have how many frequencies? A bunch. Mm -hmm. A bunch. And a lot of them are plant-based frequencies. So they're the they're the uh, they're the, the vibration of a plant like would, you would see under a high tension line. Okay? And that's why these work. Notice I took this off because I've got three of these hearts in the case of my iPhone. So let's just test and see if we can see a difference. I just keep looking at you and I don't want you to come up. I don't know why. Are you wearing any, any products? No. Okay. By the way, we can test with and without our products on. Because remember, that it isn't like going strong or going weak. It's about a baseline and showing a difference. So all I want you to do, I'm going to do a different type of test on you. Because you look like pretty tough right here. I'm probably going to show it good enough. But I just want this to be in your energy field. Don't worry, I'll, I'll make up for it in a minute. Sure. But I'm just disrupting his energy field. Can you imagine, like, if uh, if we put like a huge speaker, how you can you can literally feel the bass? Do you think that's disrupting somebody's energy field? People have heart attacks in the presence of those types of speakers sometimes. It just takes it completely out of, of balance. So just uh, I'm going to have this on and have you hold it there. Now I'm going to do a balance test. So I want you to put your feet together and I'm going to you cup your hand. And I'm going to put my fist in here and I, I don't want you to compete with me. Okay. But I'm going to see what it takes to pull you off balance. What's happening is his energy field is fairly balanced in this moment. Okay? And this is disrupting it. And we're just going to see how much it's disrupting it. And then see if we can see a difference with the prop. Okay? So just put it there. And then let me see it here. Okay? Right. Right. Okay? That was your energy field giving up. Right. And you, you gave up on it. So let's just put this on. So I've got three of the energy parts here on my phone. Three for the iPhone for sure. 